I hate how many eyes are on me. Okay. Welcome <laughs> to Ramble SMP Season 2. Woo! Yay! Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. Nice. Bloody me excited then. Okay. Firstly, we have a new name. We used to be called Ramblecraft. Now we're Ramble SMP. It sounds better. It's gonna make... Oh. Oh dear. Oh, catastrophe is struck. <laughs> oh, he's back. <laughs> is that, that, you're good. Lagging. Oh dear. Oh. What, is he beatboxing? <laughs> <laughs> Fish? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where did oh. he come from? Oh, sorry. Oh. sorry. I apologize. Anyway. Whoa. Yay. Where did... <laughs> Thank you. Oh. What? What's your... oh. Oh. Oh, hi. <laughs> you know what? I'm just going to restart this because, yeah, the first part sucked. I want to welcome the new members. We have GK Sim, we have Super Turtle, Hello. and we have Hello. Kid and Scorpius, who unfortunately couldn't be with us today, but they are with us in spirit. With the old members, we have Amradon, British Weirdo, Chemistic, Chaster, Endavar, and Spirit, and we also have Hocus and Beastly One, who unfortunately couldn't be with us today. Now, this season is a little bit different. We are actually on a very big island. All of us together it is going to make it a lot easier to convert to 1.18 once that comes out we're currently in 1.17.1 it'll also make it so we're all closer and can see each other's work and with proximity chat collabs are gonna be so much more cool i think that's it we got proximity chat and we also have data packs such as multiplayer sleep armor statues etc you know the usual we do have three new ones though fast leaf decay craftable bundles we can actually craft bundles, they are in the game, but with vanilla does not have a recipe yet, but they do now, and we can actually craft them with leather, so that's cool. And of course, we can craft spore blossoms, because, yes. That's pretty much it for the intro, I don't have anything else on my bullet point. <laughs> yeah, that'll do. Let's go! Ramble craft! Ramble SP! Yay! Woo! Yeah. Okay, I'm out, see ya. Binary, <laughs> 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 sh show me where I'm going, so... Ah, I stole his wood. <laughs> 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 British Widow gave me a fish. I got your fish! <laughs> he didn't hear I that. I slap you in the face with a vet fish. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, would you look at that cave? I've never seen someone so excited about a big hole in the ground. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. No, no. Can we, no, can we stay? Stay. 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 <laughs> uh, can we stay? This, this plane oh. is actually what is yours. This is your I place, I believe. I own this whole plane. Yeah. Why don't we get an advantage point? Yeah, let, let's go you up. Know. Let's go up. Yeah, Interval, you're back. You have that whole other mountain over there. I do. <laughs> if you ever complain about not having enough space, I think you have an issue. <laughs> well, I, I'm building in the air so I can build over everyone's base. Ah, well, that that's perfect. That's that perfect. works. Not gonna yeah. lie. Block out the sun. <laughs> yeah. That's so good. binary, binary. This is you, <laughs> yes. That is this mountain and mountain. basically this grass I'm area. I'm assuming advise this mountain and like yeah. this area over here. Yeah. Yeah. And then that big mountain there. Yeah. I'm in front much. of you two. Yeah. yeah. Life is good because binary. It is. What you're not realizing, we now have Endvar. Yeah. And that is a good thing because if we ever need stuff, I mean, the man normally has like a storage system bigger than. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, not doing that not. this time. I, oh. That's why I'm basing with you two. Nice. I want to steal stuff. Oh. Yeah, oh. You're, you're, okay. you're not going to get much from me. <laughs> Supertel's got iron already. What's, what's going on? What? Huh? Okay, well, he, he's... <laughs> he's a machine. He, his name is Turtle, but he's definitely not slow. <laughs> Imagine a bridge between these two gaps, like here and over there, between our bases. Yeah, that's, so, what, that's what I was thinking. Uh, yes. Actually, this one up here. Can you see this one I'm looking at up here? Yeah. I was thinking one from there over to... Yes. Uh, boys, base gonna be. boys yes. I, I can make a banging medieval bridge. I'm just, I'm just saying. Okay, nice. get to it. <laughs> yeah, binary, you, you know the bridge. You know the bridge I showed you on my like solo world. That, yeah. but on steroids. Yes. What are you thinking? Yes. Yeah. yeah cool. Yes. It's a good bridge. Right. Cool. Um, well, that'll happen probably in the next like six months. <laughs> but, I'm gonna Wait, love you ya. and leave you. Yes. Right, goodbye. Bye. Bye. Nice. I don't know what to. Yes. Indeed. I don't know what to do now. <laughs> no, no. I, I think I'm gonna go do a bit of money. Yeah. That sounds like yeah. a plan. I so, need some. Ma I need some mark I need my plot so no one steals it. Oh yeah, right. I'm, I need to place two yeah. signs. Okay. Yeah, I gotta go. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> and with that, ladies and gentlemen, Ramble SMP season two has begun. Now, if you don't mind, I am going to go ahead and break some trees because I need some wood. All right, we're gonna make the basic tools. You know, 
as you do. Right, this is my spot right here. This mountain right here and this entire dark green area in front of it is my area. Basically this whole this whole place. Uh, I might need to show some replay footage showing this entire area, but yeah, this is mine. As I, as I said in the intro, we're on one big island together. Um, we're all gonna be very much closer. We're all gonna be playing with the proximity chat. So we can all go around and scare each other half to death. Now in this episode, I want to do two main things. I want to get set up, I want to get some gear, and I want to maybe make a starter house because basically, here's my plan, right? This mountain, I want to make a huge like entrance to it right here. Kind of the theme of the, I don't remember what it's called, but in the Hobbit, the entrance to the mountain that kind of thing. I'll show a picture of it if I remember. Right here, I would love to do that. And then have like a path and then have a village with a bunch of small houses. Each house having its own function basically. So like that would be a house for a, that would be a blacksmith containing like an anvil and a smithing table. That'd be a place for the loom, that'd be a place for enchanting, potion brewing, etc. So each little building is actually going to have a function. Right, I'm gonna eat this raw salmon. I'm gonna walk over here. And I'm gonna get some stone and I'm gonna make a furnace and some stone tools and hopefully go mining a bit. But yeah, in this episode I just want to get settled up. I want to get some resources, basic resources done. So I want to get set up maybe with some armor and start working on building my starter house as well. Because that is the first building of the village. It'll be the first building of the village and that is my home basically that will contain my bed and what not. All right, while some food is melting, we're gonna go ahead and get some upgraded tools. I'm gonna go ahead and make a chest as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and make a couple of signs. I promised Cam to mark his and mine area, so that is what we will be doing. I'm also going to use that one piece of coal to make some charcoal. I'm gonna set up some signs. There we go. Basically, Cam's plan is also to make a medieval village. So what we will do is we will connect our paths and our village will basically connect together. And I think it's going to look very cool. Now, guys pranking we we need to prank people this season and we need to mess around with a lot of people all right so if you have any ideas for like things to do how to mess with people like if you have any ideas of the sort please put them down below in the comments i would love to get inspiration from you guys and i have a food problem we do have some cows over there we also have some cows over there would be ideal to start a cow farm somewhere. So I think I'm gonna get on that actually. I'm gonna chop down a bunch of these trees because I will want them to get taken down anyway so I can actually plan out my village. All right, I did a little bit of chopping. So that is pretty much almost two stacks of spruce wood, almost half a stack of oak logs, and yeah, a bunch of saplings. What I'm actually going to do is I'm gonna place a bunch of spruce saplings over that direction. Now what I need to do is I want to make some fence, if I remember how, there we go. Okay, I don't want too much, maybe like 30 or something, then a couple of gates, there we go. All right, I'm ready to make a fence for some cows, and I'm gonna make it down here because the majority is on the plains and I don't want to deal with getting them up this hill. I'm gonna put them right here next to Cam's place then he could use them as well. All right, that should be good for a first cow farm. I'm gonna set up a temporary farm over here. Oh, what's this? Is this a ravine? Oh, it is a ravine. Ooh, that is extremely, extremely tempting. Okay, I think I got this. Yes, perfect, sweet. This is a good start so far. Ooh, gripstone. That's very really cool as well. All right, I'm just gonna take every little bit of iron we have down here and bring it with me to the surface and make a bucket, make a blast furnace as well. And I can move the seeds actually up to my place so they're closer to me so I don't have to scale them out every time I want to harvest my, my stuff. Super Turtle found the first diamonds. Would you look at that? <laughs> GG. Nice, I want some diamonds as well, but we have other things to attend to first. That's a lot of iron actually in this ravine. I haven't moved very much. <laughs> I have enough for a full set already. That said, we do have a cave here. Maybe this will lead down, actually. That would be cool. This could be a good idea or it could be a bad idea. I don't know yet. <laughs> this goes down deep. Oh no, I'm out of torches. Oh dear. <laughs> the shader is not making it. Oh, my pickaxe broke as well. Oh no. I can't see anything. 
It's a dead end. A stack of iron. And I forgot that I'm still in the ravine. <laughs> Unfortunately, didn't get any bones, but I will be taking this now. Gonna smelt eight, make a blast furnace, smelt the rest. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make two copper blocks and I'm gonna place them down with, I think it's five blocks in between. There we go. Our first iron right there. I'm actually gonna go ahead and make some shears. Then I'll go ahead and make a bucket and then actually I think I will be making the blast furnace. And now that I have a bucket, I can get some water and I'll actually expand this hole to be a two by two. So this way I automatically have a farm and also have an infinite water source. Tilt the ground around it and plant the seeds. Go ahead and place down these four saplings right here. Hopefully they will grow on their own in time. I don't know if they will or if they need to have bone meal or not. And boom, blast furnace. Charcoal, blast furnace. Boom. Oh guys, look, we have an ocean next to us. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this pork to cook and then we're gonna go explore the shoreline a little bit. Hopefully maybe there's a shipwreck, maybe with a treasure map and maybe we could get some diamonds that way. That would be pretty sweet. And now I can make a full set of iron armor. Also gonna make an iron pickaxe, iron sword, and gonna make an axe because yes, why not? That copper block is oxidizing extremely quickly. <laughs> I thought it would take a lot longer for them to oxidize, but um, not this one. I'm assuming Endavar went this way as well to check out the shore since he got moss. So he probably has checked the shore on the right and in front. I'm gonna check the shore on the left. Oh, what's that? Wait, is that a... That's a ravine. That's an underwater ravine right there. That could have diamonds. Oh, a glow squid. That's cool. <coughs> Except that I have shaders on, so I can't see anything. <laughs> Another glow squid. Okay, hold up. This is, by the way, behind my mountain, and I have plans to do stuff here as well. All right, I kind of turned off the crazy shaders for a little bit, so I can actually see underground. We're at Y equals 11, so I think diamonds are a spawnable. Now, I'm sorry, glow squid, but your stuff is very precious, and you didn't even drop it. Why? Oh, that is... Oh, there's rest on there. Oh, wait, hold up. This is a ravine. In a ravine. Oh, this is cool. Oh, diamonds! Axolotl! Hey, buddy! Hey, buddy, let me save you. Ha-ha! <laughs> Pocket of Axolotl. That's sweet. Perfect. And first diamonds. First diamonds. <laughs> nice! Gotta enjoy this moment. Look at that. Oh, there's more. It's not just two. Nice. Sweet for diamonds. Oh, there's another axolotl. Oh, I don't have, don't have a bucket for you, buddy. I went to look for shipwrecks, but this is way better than a shipwreck. <laughs> look at this cave. Oh, look at all the axolotls. This is so cool. This place is sick. I could actually get obsidian to go to the nether. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Crafting table. Doors. Boom. All right, I'm gonna make a diamond pickaxe because I can get obsidian right now. If I get 14, I can get enough for a portal and I can get enough to make an enchantment table as well. All right, I have 14 obsidian. <gasps> no way, no way. It's a, it's a spawner. <laughs> we found a spawner. We found a spawner. What spawner is this? Oh, it's a zombie one. Not as exciting, but it's a spawner nonetheless. Diamond horse armor, not bad. An extra bucket. Ooh, I can get an extra bone. That's huge. Name tag as well. Saddle. I'll even take the chest, actually. <laughs> That's awesome. I really want one more diamond because then I can actually do enchantments. There is lapis here. I do need that, though. I know there's a... Hold on. There's a, there's a trick, isn't there, with lapis. From where you find it, go like 13 blocks or so. Like, in a direction, I think. Hold on, I need to try this. So if I found the lapis there, I think you gotta face north actually. Okay, Super Turtle just said it's four blocks north of lapis, then down. He also said it seems to work like 50% of the time. So well, that's good enough for me. Okay, one, two, three, four, and then dig down. 
I don't know how far down. I'm gonna dig a little bit. <gasps> it actually worked! The trick actually worked! The trick actually worked. Go north, and then dig down. Oh, I'm at, I'm at bedrock as well. Nice. We now have five extra diamonds. <laughs> we have enough for the enchantment table and three to spare. Nice. All right. Well, I haven't seen any shipwrecks near the shore. We are allowed to leave the island, by the way, but anything outside the island will basically get... Oh, that's an abandoned portal. Will basically get uh, deleted once one point... Uh, oh, that's not a portal. Once 1.18 actually comes out. Cool. Ooh, this was worth it, though. Buried treasure map. Those can have diamonds. I think it might be near Amradon's place, actually. He took over a village, and I think he's in this direction. Maybe? I don't know if this is actually part of the island or part of the mainland where this leads. All right, well, here it is. Here's the shore. Aha! That is... Oh, dear. How? How? <laughs> anyway. Oh, that's good. Gold. Iron. Another diamond. 13 emeralds. And a heart of the sea. This is huge. This is really good stuff, you know. Okay, I think I'm gonna call the resource gathering here because I have a lot of stuff now, a lot of good stuff. I'm gonna head back home, get my stuff sorted, and hopefully I can actually breed those cows now. Because now I have bones and I can make bone meal, which means I can now get wheat. Actually, I just saw a horse. Getting a horse is actually going to be huge when it comes to moving around on this island. Because another thing actually we have done is we have not allowed anyone to go to the end because we want to do that as a group thing. So no one is gonna get an elytra right off the bat. Just be happy with me. Finally. All right, now is it a fast one? That's the question. Yeah, I'd say, I'd say that's pretty fast. All right, perfect, we have a horse. Haha, <laughs> yeah. My trees have actually grown. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. I, I, this is gonna give me so much wood. This is great. Okay, uh, flaw in my plan. I do not have a lead, so I'm gonna need to make a box for you. Right, all my valuables I'm gonna put in this chest or what I consider valuable anyway. I need to put this sugarcane somewhere. I'm gonna set up a mini sugarcane farm, just like that. Okay, that's, that's not very big, but it's temporary until I get a lead, okay? I just realized I wasn't recording, but um, yeah, cow farm. <laughs> I got a bunch of cows from over there and over there, and they are now ours, which is cool. And that, that has to be... What is Endava doing? He's already... Let's go and take a look. Let's go and take a look. Let's, let's, go, let's go visit him. Hello. Hello. Not well, bad, start. My humble abode. I'm getting there. I I haven't got any armor, but, you know, it, it, it's, it's all right. Yeah, pretty good. You know, I saw, I just saw, I was literally making a cow farm, and I just yeah. looked to the left, and I saw big trees, and I was like, oh, well, that's end of our. They're not fun to chop down with stone axes, though. Yeah, no, they're, they're not, not the, at all. No. Yeah, you're, you're doing all right. Yeah, yep, yeah. Went mining. Diamonds. Got, yeah, yeah, got some diamonds, yep. Yeah. All that stuff. Yeah, well, I'm just up here farming, minding my own business. Yeah. Everyone else is getting good stuff. But I'll, yeah. I'm going to do that in a minute. Yeah, nice. I was is wondering. Is there anything you want, by the way? I was wondering. Yeah. You have you have moss. Yeah, I do have moss. I'll, I got very lucky in a, what they're called, shipwreck. That's the one. Yep. How much do you want for a single ten part? Di ten diamonds. Uh... <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't have that. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> joking. I, it, moss is infinite. I have I have glow squid ink sack. If you want that. Ooh, that, yes, yes, I do. That How much you nice. want? Uh, uh, one for one. One for one. Me. All right. Yeah. Uh, I'll be right back. It's in my chest. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. We have our first deal of the day, as, as usual. End of our already up to big things, even though he says he's not, he is. Well, I'm gonna give him two glowing ink sacks. There we go. And I'm gonna flex with my horse. <laughs> Plus, it, it makes the journey easier, okay? Makes the journey easier. I can highly recommend getting a horse, because we uh, don't uh, have a light uh, what, What's this? <laughs> what? 
horse with diamond armor already. Was... I found a saddle. On? I found a saddle <laughs> together with diamond horse armor in a dungeon chest, and I was like, "Well, might as well okay. get a horse now." <laughs> that, that's proper flexing this early. <laughs> Here you go. I gave you two because yes. Thank you very much. Help yourself to my range of moss blocks from over there. Yes, thank you. Is it gonna be annoying if I take like in the middle? And not in I, the edge. No, I, I don't care. I really shouldn't do it here anyway. I'm making a right mess of this. So once I get some lava, I'm going to set up a farm for this. All right. Well, thank you. That is probably the first trade okay. of the server. I, I think it might be. Yeah. With, with trailblazers. Yep. Cool. All right. See you around right. then. See you soon. Thank you. Uh, horse, get back here. I don't have a lead yet. <laughs> uh, you know. You know what? You know what? You know what? I'm gonna put this boss block and weed away, and we're gonna go ahead and flex on more people. I know where some people are, and we're gonna go flex. <laughs> Is that a green sheep? Please tell me that this guy. Wandering trader, wandering trader, wandering trader. See, I have emeralds. I can actually do stuff with this guy if he's good. All right, we got player heads right here. Okay, right. Ah, uh, he does not have drip leaf. That's unfortunate. You know, it's going to be very cool when we have roads and whatnot leading to people's bases. I think that's Amradon's village, actually. Well, I don't see Amradon. Oh, he has a ruined portal as well. Nice. Yeah, this is Amradon's village, which means I don't see him, unfortunately. Let's see if we can find Chase in his village. Hi. <laughs> well, hello. <laughs> I was like, who is coming, <laughs> running at me? <laughs> How's it going? I, see I was you have... scared for my life. <laughs> I could have gone, boo. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're Go all ahead. decked out with uh, with uh, armor and everything. Yeah, I just got done mining, and uh, now I'm trying to get some uh, farms going. But I live over this little mountain over here. Uh, oh, nice. There's a village. So nice. I haven't built anything yet, but... Yeah, me, me neither. I've just been collecting resources. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and try and build a house. I have no idea what I'm doing, but um, I know I'm going <laughs> yeah, to evil, and that's pretty yet. much it. <laughs> 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 I'm just going to wing it and see what happens, I think. Too much well, stressing. Yeah, good luck with that, dude. Yeah, thanks. Um, yeah, have fun. <laughs> All right, see you later. <laughs> see ya. All right, now that we have been around the server, I think it is time that, I, that we do... What I just talked with Chase about. Building my first starter house. All right, before we start building though, I do want to make a quick book. And then with that book, take two diamonds and make an enchantment table. Not that I can really use it right now. I mean, I do have 15 levels, which I guess I can use since I don't really have enough to make a bookshelf anyway. Um, but what I would also want to do is get a quick shovel, go and get some gravel to get some flint and then make another portal somewhere. All right. Flint and steel. There we go. And I'm going to make the portal probably up here. We can always move it, right? There we go. Portal has been lit. Not going to leave that dirt there. That's going to drive me and everyone else crazy. All right. I don't want to really go in right now, but I do want to go in and see where we are in terms of the nether spawn. All right. Um, not a place... That is the greatest. Right above, looks like a soul sand valley. Yeah, that doesn't look too great. Well, now we know where we are in terms of nether spawn. All right, cool. What I'm gonna do now is throw out another time lapse of me chopping wood because I need a lot of wood. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. All right, trees have been chopped down. I have a lot of wood now. Hopefully I have enough for what I want to do. Speaking of which is, of course, a house. Now, I was thinking there's multiple ways I could do this. One, I could make a hobbit hole and it would even fit in with the medieval style, but I do not want to live inside a cave again. I want to actually have a house this time. So I'm kind of thinking where I should place it. I don't want to place it out in the open, like just like right here, because I'm planning on having a road going down and then houses on the side of it. So I'm kind of thinking maybe having this excavated down and then place the house like on, on top of here, on top of this hill. Now, since I can't exactly make level 30 enchantments, I was thinking, why don't we go ahead and see what we can get for the highest level right here? 
Let's see. It says efficiency one. Not the best. Maybe I should have checked some of the armor first. Hold up. What can I get on like... Yeah, let's do some, some small enchantments here. Now we have enchanted armor as well and looks pretty cool. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna go ahead and start excavating this area and lay out the foundation and I will be right back with you. All right, the entire place has been excavated and I have kind of been trying to place blocks where I'm thinking of putting the house. And I think I'm at a spot where I like it. So this would be the entrance. You would walk in and there would be a path down. I think of putting a door here that then leads out to a small balcony where we can look out across the forest and keep an eye on end of us doings. <laughs> and then in here we can have a little room for maybe some chests and crafting area with some furnaces and stuff like that and maybe have a little potato farm or something over here, maybe? Now what I need to do is build the actual house, so I don't even think I'm gonna wait. I think I have everything that I need, so yeah. Well, it had to happen. It had to happen. <laughs> those did not make it easier. One of those, one phantom hit me once and dealt, and I had armor on, by the way. I had armor on, and it did four hearts of damage. Like, see that? Three and a half. Yeah, those thinking, stinking things attacked me, and then, well, guess what happened? A zombie came in f for the cleanup. <laughs> Finally, I think I got them. All right, I have been off the server for a while now, actually a day, um, and Amradon told me to record when I log back into the server. So here we go. I'm not sure what to expect. <laughs> not sure what to expect here. All right, we're in our house. I'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, I'm not seeing much at the moment. All right, I assume... Oh yeah, I forgot my pressure plate. Are these boats supposed to contain something? Oh, I, I know what this is. I know what this is. In my last episode of season one, I said I would be giving out tickets to random boats just placed everywhere. Is this it? Is he trying to blame me to give tickets to myself? If, if, if that's the case, that's not gonna work. <laughs> that's not gonna work, buddy. So yeah, n nice try. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know how to combat this, actually. But anyways, uh, boats aside, this is our house. I'm not I'm not happy with the roof uh, yet, but it's a work in progress. I didn't want to use cobblestone either. I actually wanted to use deep slate, but I didn't have enough at, the, at this point in time. So, um, yeah, that's that. Yeah, this is uh, our house so far. I need to get some sand for the glass. Uh, I'll do that as well, and then we need to move our stuff inside. So we'll do that today as well, just before we end the episode. But British Widow is online, and he told me to come to his base. So he, he apparently has a surprise for me. You know, this terrain is not horse-friendly. I just want to point that out. Um, you, you, should pay for, you should pay people to, to get here. It's, um... What? <laughs> Do I really need to say that all over again? I guess I'm I guess I'm safe from horses, but uh, yeah. yeah, I got full diamond. <laughs> full enchanted diamond, mind you. Yeah, What's that skeleton yeah. shooting? Yeah. What's that? Yeah, what? it's a skeleton in a boat. Oh, there I've discovered. <laughs> I've discovered the strangest thing. That's not it's... okay. <laughs> no, it's it's a sun resistant skeleton. Well, uh, it is certainly what, what a nice place of? though. I love Thank the trees. You. I love I love these two birch trees. Yeah. What does that say? Uh, this is my humble little abode. It's a bit it's a bit of a tight squeeze in here. Oh wow, yeah, a, li a little bit, but uh, well, I have a balcony works. so I can stare at GK. 
<laughs> nice. Wait, where's he? Oh, that's also, him back there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and then if you look the other direction, you can see some torches. That's oh, uh, yeah. that's spirit. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. You have some uh, neighbors for smoke signals then. You, you can make yeah. smoke signals. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> uh, we'll just ignore that my bed is a little dangerous. Why is it dang- I can't- I can't see. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, have fun sleeping in that. Um, yeah, it's a little dangerous, but you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, but here, here's the gift I have for you. Mm -hmm. It is a very specific egg. Okay. Delib deliberately tailored for you. Okay. And there you go. Right. If, if that egg breaks, your conscience is gone. That means you have to just start killing everyone you see on site. So if you oh, accidentally dear. throw that egg, that means you are you are now broken. You have no conscience. Right. You have I no remorse. To, I need to place this you... in a bundle, in a shulker box, <laughs> in an ender chest, far away from home. <laughs> yeah. If that ever breaks, if that egg ever breaks or you ever accidentally break it, oh, you have to murder everyone you look at for an entire day. Oh dear. Right. Well, with that I'm going to okay. It's binary's conscience. <laughs> yep. Okay. What's what's your what's your horse's name by the way? Uh I actually haven't gotten a name yet. Um comment section will be in charge of that. Comment section. Oh, uh, okay. Names, well, please. Comment section, I will give you a name suggestion. Penelope. Comment section, any name that is not that <laughs> will be accepted and taken into consideration. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was unexpected. Um, not what I thought I would get for when I when I went over to visit. Um, not gonna lie. Now let's go back to the house. Let's install some glass. Let's move the chests and whatnot. I really, really enjoyed this episode. So if you have as well, be sure to leave it a like. And if you're new, consider subscribing. All right, I'll see you at the I'll see you at home. Gonna go ahead and make a bunch of glass panes and install them. Nice. All right, everything has now been moved into the house, and I'm quite happy with the story system actually as it is right now. I went with science instead of item frames because I want to I want to save the leather that I have, and also it's more accessible. So dyeing them and putting glowing sacks on them is probably going to do the job. So I think that is that. But yeah, this is our house. I'm quite happy with it. Need to do some decoration work, and you know the usual. It's a start anyway. It's a start. Starting storage area and furnaces and whatnot it's a good beginning i'm gonna say that this has been a very good first episode in the next episode what i think i want to do i want to maybe make a path up to my house but then i also want to maybe lay out the the main paths here that is going to be in the village i think that is the first good step in order to be able to then plan where the different houses and builds are going to be so i think we'll do that in the next episode and i think i'm going to be doing some off-camera mining as well but uh yeah that's gonna be it for this first episode i really hope you have enjoyed if you did please be sure to leave a like as it does help me out and also so be sure to subscribe for more. Hope you're excited for season two because I certainly am. And I hope to see you in the next episode. Have a wonderful, wonderful day and goodbye. <laughs>